Hi, and welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. Last time I talked about making my joint master addition to my CNC machine. See below for reference. This time I want to talk about using it. Coming up after this. Before cutting any joints, we need to know the start point for these. We need a fixed origin so we can do each cut identical to the last. Firstly, a piece of square and true wood is clamped against the fence. The machine is set roughly to the XY coordinates of the origin and a note made of these. An L-shaped cut will now be made a known distance in from the origin, in this case 3 millimeters. You then measure the actual depth of cut using an accurate method. Here I'm using a surface plate and dial gauge. First we take the origin of the cut, then take the error in the cut that was made and subtract this to get the true origin point. This will be used in all further cuts. We now need to do the same thing for face joints by using a jig or template. But this needs to be mirror image because it's the outside faces that need to match. This jig or template was cut in place at a known machine address, including the dowel holes. It is now secured with two aluminium dowels so it can be returned to the same place each time. This gives a fixed origin for cutting. Right. Having got all the technical stuff out of the way, let's make some joints. I'll start with perhaps the simplest of all, the dowel joint. Here, I've just finished cutting the end dowels. And here are the face dowels just cut. Dowels fitted into the face. I'm assembling this dry to see how good a fit it is. Here you can see the joint. Once again using a macro lens. Running your finger along it, it's difficult to detect the edge. You make tenon joints in exactly the same way. You can make small floating tenons, like dominoes. Well, I'm not quite sure why you'd want to. Double dowels are just as strong and a lot cheaper. Dominoes are about 20 times the price of dowels. You can also use large floating tenons or cut the tenon itself. Let's move on to making other joints. The box or finger joint is made entirely using the vertical cutting and you can do these several at once. You can sandwich all four pieces for a box and cut all four at once, flip end for end, cut the other four and you've done the complete box. This is my prototype box joint. It's an extremely tight fit. This has not been sanded and there's no glue in there. Switching to a macro lens for an extreme close-up. I'm very pleased with the finish of this. Remember this is pre-sanding. Of course you can also make more complex joints such as dovetails. Well that's a topic for another video. So, if you have a CNC machine and you want to make tight, accurate joints, you know what to do. And if you haven't got a CNC machine, well, you know you want one. That's all for this time. See you next time.